Restaurant owner hits back after TV nightmare. Since then, Bonaparte's restaurant has hit rock bottom. Sue's made several rather public complaints about us. Cooked up Ramsay's kitchen nightmares. Whilst I'm genuinely gutted it hasn't worked out for her, I wholeheartedly deny the allegations. I'm heading back to Silsden to see for myself just what's gone wrong. It's a great shame when restaurants don't succeed. The figures state that two out of three restaurants close within the first 12 months of business. Can you imagine how hard it is if you've never ran a restaurant before in your life? Like Sue. Lunchtime, and there's no sign of life at Bonaparte's. When I ring the number... Hi, it's Sue here, obviously not in person. You're All I get is a recorded now. message. Contact details. Thank you very much for calling. Maybe the people of Silsden can help me find out what's happened here. I don't know, actually. I heard they've just converted it to a bar, actually. It's just so. been converted to a bar. Oh, you're going to close down. Who am I going to close down? <laughs> Hello. Uh, <laughs> excuse me. Why do you want to hit me? Because you'll hurt my mate. So you don't think it was fair or justified? Uh, oh, I think a bit fierce. Well, thank you for if being I, so if honest. If I'd have been there, I would have hit you there and then. You don't look like a violent man. Oi, oi. Poor oh, fucking hell. I'm determined to speak to Sue, but in the meantime, I've tracked down her ex-head chef extraordinaire. Well, there's nothing burning. Tim Gray. <laughs> Hello, Tim. How's it going, guys? Are you well? Uh, yeah. You're looking brown. Yeah. You've lost weight? Yep. Yeah. Oh, it smells nice and fresh. So they're not serving any food now? No. Nothing. She says she can't trust chefs and she doesn't know what she's looking for in a chef or all mm. like that, so she's not going to bother at all. Well, remember that night, yeah, Valentine's? Yeah, you pulled it off. it off. They had some bloody good food. Mm -hmm. And if yeah. it stuck along those lines, spent a bit of money on the kitchen, cleaned up their act, um, it, it would have worked. <laughs> My God. So you haven't changed, have you? This is a living fucking nightmare. I think if. The team, I'm not going to say a certain individual, either be myself or anyone else, if the team had listened and acted upon the advice we were given, Bonaparte's had every chance. But because the team flushed that information down the toilet and went straight back to, then, you know, it, there's a, that's it. You know, it could have worked, yeah. Tim's drawn a line under his life as a chef and is pursuing other career possibilities including jobs in television. Are you sure you've made the right move? It seems like I have. I think definitely, you know, I was fighting a losing battle with it, mm -hmm. with it before, you know. Um, but you were so proud of him in the house last time. I still am. Are you happy? Very happy, yeah. Mm -hmm. I'm very happy. Finally, I get hold of Sue. She's agreed to meet me. But when I turn up, she decides she doesn't want the camera. Sue told me that it's in the hands of an insolvency company and she'd narrowly escaped bankruptcy. Sue is looking for a buyer for the site. It shouldn't be too hard. I always thought it had great potential. I asked Sue about her comments in the press and while she's still convinced that we'd set her up, she was unable to back up any of her allegations. Oh dear, oh dear. You know, sometimes you have to admit defeat and this one definitely defeats me.